One of the biggest key things that is important in organisational change management is communication. It's probably the most important element and it's actually one of the reasons why change management is the biggest risk for psychological injury because a lot of what happens is people feel unduly pressured to you know, follow a particular process, but it's not being clearly communicated to them about why the process is necessary or what the problem is that the process is going to solve. That's why, even though it seems like, oh yeah, communication. No, there's a number of things about communication that are really important, right? The first one is not only about understanding strategically what it is you're trying to achieve or the organisation's trying to achieve. We want that overview, but then that has to be broken down to there's a problem with us being able to achieve that that requires a change. This is the bit that people often miss because as leaders you kind of go, oh, I know what it is that I need to do to fix this and we're just going to do blah. And you walk in and you just tell them this, what, and nobody wants to do that. A lot of people then feel really pressured to change in a way that makes them uncomfortable, especially if you're new to a role and you're just putting that change in. You have to roll with some of the resistance. The easiest way to do that is by communicating with them upfront about the problem that you're observing that's not aligning with the strategic outcome you're trying to achieve and why you need their input and their assistance to help you solve that problem. Now, when you do that, and that's where the communication elements are really important, there's some structure around how you get that feedback and input, but you also need to kind of go to them with, these are some of the things that I've been thinking about, what do you think? And get them to give you their perspective. Because especially when you've got lower level staff who might have been in the organisation for a long time, and you've come in from outside and you might have some really great ideas, but if we don't at least kind of ask for the input about the problems that you're observing from those people, they feel like you've come in from outside and you're just telling them that they're doing something really wrong. And a lot of them feel like, you know, well, it's been good like this for ages and who are you coming in last minute? And they react to it. When we feel uncertain as human beings, we hold still. It's like you'll have hear, uh, hear about the fight, flight, freeze stuff, right? So we'll either push back or we freeze and we do nothing, or we want to get out of there. So as leaders, we've also got an obligation to understand that's what people will react to and how they respond. And if we communicate more clearly and openly about what the issue is, we're not saying that we, we're not good leaders, that we don't know how to fix the problem. We do know how to fix the problem, but a big part of being a good leader is also about engaging your people in helping you to solve the problem. And that creates buy-in to your leadership because they then see that you value them as employees, you're asking for their input. So if you do it that way, make communication the number one thing, your change management process will be much smoother.